We're going to be upfront with you. We are no dinosaur experts, but it doesn't mean that we don't appreciate their immense beauty and strength. Granted, we all know only about a handful of the regular dinosaurs like the T-Rex, the Brontosaurus, and the Triceratops. But today, we're going to have a look at some of the more obscure ones that you never knew existed. Number 24. Say Cheese Let's begin with meeting the Incisivosaurus, a dinosaur that roamed the Earth around 128 million years ago. The most bizarre feature on this dinosaur was its buck teeth. This bird-like dinosaur was also thought to be covered in feathers and was either an herbivore or an omnivore. It's thanks to these obscure dinosaurs that researchers could figure out more information about the oviraptor. It was initially thought that oviraptors were birds that simply couldn't fly anymore, but now they realize that the Incisivosaurus is an ancestor of the oviraptor. Number 23. Roarsome. This dinosaur has all the dinosaurs jealous because he's got his punk rock look down pat. This Amargosaurus was discovered in Argentina in 1991, and it's a type of sauropod, so it walks on four legs and has a long neck and tail. This one was slightly smaller at just 35 feet long. This one looks a lot more fearsome than some of the other dinosaurs featured in movies, wouldn't you agree? Number 22. Jurassic Park. This is a chilled dinosaur and was probably not featured in Jurassic Park because it's far too gentle looking. It walked on our Earth around 100 million years ago and is called a Nigrosaurus. It was around the size of an elephant and you would find them in West Africa. It was an herbivore with a very impressive set of teeth that looked like a shovel. It's believed this dinosaur would suck up its meals much like a Hoover vacuum. Number 21. When Dinosaurs Ruled the Earth then you would have encountered lots of concavenators. This very strange dinosaur has a weird triangular hump on its back, which scientists are not sure the purpose of as yet. They also have these crazy quill knobs that protrude from their forearms. It's thought that during mating season, they would sprout colorful feathers from these knobs. Number 20. Walk the Dinosaur This poor dinosaur had nothing going for it. The Oranosaurus had the strangest shape back, with the rounded half-moon shape preventing the sky from ever standing up. Its arms were too short. It had an obscure duck bill for a mouth and thumbs that looked like he was always trying to hitch a ride. This herbivore lived roughly 128 million years ago in Africa. Number 19. Fly Away With Me this is a Chiraviterex, and it makes our list today because it looks like there was a huge mistake in this dinosaur's DNA. Instead of the wings coming out of the arms, the wings are growing out from its legs. It looks like it would have perched on branches with those scary claws. Number 18. Edward Scissorhands this is the Therizinosaurus, and they were found roaming Central Asia roughly 75 million years ago. Scientists believe that they were actually quite gentle creatures and probably only used those claws in self-defense or to get their food. Their claws could grow a monstrous three feet, believed to be the longest in animal history. There are so many unanswered questions about this intriguing dinosaur, as a full skeleton has never been found. Number 17 not such a looker. The Guanlong was certainly last in line when it came to looks. This dinosaur was 10 feet long, 3 feet high, and was more than likely a scavenger. The body was similar to that of a T-Rex, but they were fortunate in that they had longer arms. It has a very prominent crest on its face, which was initially believed to have been used in combat. However, it's now said that the crest is too soft and was probably used in mating, with a chance that it would change color to attract a mate. Number 16. Adapt or Fly Here's another bizarre flying dinosaur called the Microraptor Gooey. This one was discovered in China, and it got scientists wondering if dinosaurs perhaps evolved into birds. This one had four separate wings and was doing its thing on Earth 120 million years ago. Number 15. I am a paleontologist. This is a Cosmoceratops, and he's a horny fellow. But, like, literally, though. This particular dinosaur is far different to the others because it lived on an isolated island and it evolved in its own special way, as you can see. It's got these fancy horns, which was a great way of attracting the opposite sex. These were around roughly 76 million years ago and weighed two and a half tons. Number 14 something to cluck about. This dinosaur could be described as the world's largest chicken, and you would expect it to have a gentle name in comparison to some of our previous entries, but no. This one is called a Gigantoraptor. This feathery dinosaur could grow as tall as 16 feet, and to date, scientists know very little about this beast. What they do know is they're sure glad that humans were not around when this crazy dinosaur was. Number 13 arms are overrated. The Linhenicus has everything you'd expect from a regular dinosaur, except one major flaw. This one is seriously lacking in the arm department. 
Take a closer look and you'll notice instead of arms, this dinosaur merely has tiny stubs. It must have been equipped with a powerful kick to ward off its enemies. Number 12. Keep it in the family. This scary looking dinosaur is a Carnotaur, and he looks like a direct link to the devil himself with those horns he's sporting on top of his head. The name Carnotaur is Latin, and translated means meat-eating bull. Their legs and tail muscles are super powerful, and it can run at ridiculously fast speeds. This dino has very short arms. In fact, they're even shorter than those of a T-Rex. Number 11. Dig deep. Oryctodromiuses were good at doing just that. They were a burrowing dinosaur from 95 million years ago and were known to live in the holes in which they burrowed. It was initially thought they just dug for food, but a number of skeletons were found in depths of six and a half feet, giving researchers the idea that maybe they slept there too. Number 10. Little bit of everything. Coolindodromiuses were a little bit of everything. They had feathers, they were small, they were thought to love meat, and then it was thought that they loved plants. Plus, there's a suggestion that the dinosaur was equipped with a warm-blooded metabolism, which means that many a dinosaur book would require a few changes. In terms of looks, this little critter looks like one you'd like to keep as a pet. Well, that's, of course, if they do only like plants. Number 9. Stuff of Nightmares This dinosaur looks like something that belongs in the series Stranger Things. They lived somewhere between 152 and 186 million years ago. Called Epidexeteryx, these guys were from China and were quite small, around 12 to 15 inches tall. They weren't able to fly, although they sported a few feathers, and it's thought the feathers helped them to attract a mate. They had very narrow, long fingers, probably useful for climbing and extracting insects from the trees. Number 8. Mix and Match That's what the Psittacosaurus looks like. Here you see porcupine, dinosaur, and parrot coming together nicely. So far, around 400 of these have been discovered, which is kind of crazy to think about as we know so little about them. And then you think there's only been around 50 T-Rexes discovered, yet we seem to lavish all of our attention on them. These dinosaurs walk on all fours till they're about six years old, and then they grow and can walk on two legs. They swallowed loads of pebbles and would crowd together to protect themselves. Number seven, just a little gas. There's really only one thing that stands out about the Therizinosaurus, and that is its pot belly. These pot-bellied dinos were first discovered in Asia, but over time, some were discovered in North America, too. They are herbivores, and why they're blessed with their round belly is anyone's guess. Number 6. A little flashy. It's possible the long esquama was the first of the dinosaurs to become extinct. It was impossible for these critters to hide anywhere because they came standard, with the brightest feather-like projections coming out of their back. On top of that, these poor dinosaurs weren't very fast, so their getaways were almost non-existent. Number 5. Well protected. You can imagine this dinosaur leading armies into battle, while he's at the forefront, basically scaring the enemy away before fighting even takes place. It's a Euoplocephalus, and this dinosaur could pass for an armored tank. It's covered in these hard spikes and even has these protrusions over its eyes. They were common in North America and lived in herds. It's not clear why they're covered in body armor, as they were herbivores and lived relatively peaceful lives. Number 4. Land Before Time And this particular dinosaur can just stay there. It's called a Rhino Rex, also known as the Nose King, and we think it's pretty obvious how it got that name. It has the most impressive nose in the dinosaur kingdom. Possible reasons for the big nose include giving off loud blasts and blares to signal to other dinosaurs, and of course, mating. Number 3. Heard it through the grapevine. There's a strange little rumor that surrounds the Jahalo Terrace. It says that this pterosaur used to feed on the blood of dinosaurs. There's a lot of debate about that one, with some firmly believing that information, and those who vehemently deny it. It's been described as a prehistoric dinosaur vampire bat, and think about it. Most dinosaurs didn't have long enough arms, apparently, to swipe this critter away, so it could probably suck on the blood happily until its stomach was bulging. Number 2. See it to believe it. It was initially thought to be a fake, but after extensive research, it turns out the skeleton of a Hulskaraptor is 100% legit. It was initially thought to be a mix of skeletons, but after scanning the fossil, researchers were pleasantly surprised. It appears to be a mix of a swan and a reptile and probably feasted on fish. Number 1 tail as old as time. 
And finally, let us introduce you to our feathered friend, the Euteranus. This ferocious tyrannosaur was 30 feet in length and had a covering of soft, fluffy feathers. Interestingly, there are actually fossilized imprints of those soft little feathers. Which of these dinosaurs did you like the most? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos just like this every day. Thanks for watching.